One of the most important aspects of survival is coincidentally one of the ones that nobody ever talks about and that is physical fitness. There are a lot of reasons that nobody talks about this and I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions. However, if you look at physical fitness, there is one aspect of it that really stands out in a survival situation and that is being able to put weight on your back whether that be all your gear a family member uh, your dog whatever and move so call it backpacking rucking whatever you want to call it it is a crucial part of getting out alive if you find yourself in a bad situation and you're physically capable to do so so why does nobody talk about this well um in large part i think because a lot of survivalists um are thinking of the wrong things they are thinking of okay well yeah i'm gonna stay out in the woods and this extra 50 to 100 pounds that i have on me is you know gonna keep me alive through the winter so to speak um, or literally maybe I don't know <clears throat> however that's not what I'm talking about I'm not talking about bushcraft stuff I'm not talking about you know uh, going and being a mountain man for sure I mean if you're gonna go live in the woods for the rest of your life having some extra weight on you is really gonna help however if you are an average person who likes to enjoy your life and likes to be outdoors likes to go hunting fishing you know anything like that where you are away from the majority of people you know I'm out on a trail right now having a nice ruck um, and you find yourself in a bad situation you find yourself lost you may wind up going a lot longer than you thought you were and your physical fitness level will determine whether or not you get back home it, it's pretty pretty cut and dry you know your ability to to walk with white on your back your ability to you know climb up a small cliff uh, pick yourself up off the ground if you get hurt um, all those things have a direct impact and if you're carrying around a bunch of extra weight not on your back I mean in your front then all it's gonna do is be a detriment to your survivability now I get it you know over the years of you know doing things a certain way it becomes uh, it becomes easy to kind of get to a point of acceptance like hey this is who I am this is who I've been for the last however many years and uh, yeah it'd be nice to to be all ripped up like those dudes you know throwing around weight on Instagram but uh, it's just not gonna happen for me it might not it might not and you can keep making excuses until the cows come home and you can keep thinking that yep well when the world ends I'm just gonna hunker down well, what happens what happens when you have to move a mile and you're out of breath because you're carrying around an extra hundred pounds on you so I'm not making this video to uh, to berate people um, I am hoping that this will come across for you survival minded people as a wake-up call and that wake-up call is to get outside and exercise enjoy your life enjoy your life for the one you have and the better shape you're in the longer your life is gonna be so you get to enjoy more of it you get to walk around with your grandkids when you're 60 70 years old instead of sitting on the couch saying ah you know grandpa grandpa can't play with you right now so if there's one thing if there's one physical activity that you do man throw a little weight on your back 
and go walk through the woods. Take some take some survival stuff with you and go go stop and have a picnic and you know practice some survival skills. But get out and move. Do things. So I hope you guys liked the video. Hope I didn't piss anybody off too bad. But uh, you know I'm hoping that somebody out there is gonna watch this and uh, and think you know what I've been putting this off for far too long. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out once or twice or three times a week, and I'm gonna go for a half an hour walk. You know, it uh, it doesn't take it doesn't take going and running marathons. It doesn't take you know doing all sorts of crazy stuff. It takes a little bit at a time, and it takes a dedication to make yourself better. And that's what we're talking about is making yourself better. All right, I'll see you guys later.